Hey everyone, Ivan here from Alt Future, and I'm here to bring you a video update for builds 74 and 75 to showcase some of the bug fixes and additions we've pushed over the last two weeks. We've added some quality of life improvements to the game, as well as some feature requests such as mouse look, and plenty of bug fixes. Let's get started. Firstly, the biggest addition in the last two updates, mouse look. In non-VR, mouse look decouples head movement from the direction you face. Essentially, this will allow you to look at and zoom in on items held in your hand, such as the map, and allows you to operate the locomotive remote without tossing it on a table first. It can be very useful while operating locomotives around the yard, and can help add to immersion in general. Some items held in your hand in non-VR are now controlled using the mouse wheel, such as the booklets and lighter. To scroll through items using the mouse wheel without interacting with items currently held in your hand, you can hold Alt while scrolling. Selecting an item and pressing Tab will now immediately swap your current item without having to put it away first. Alternatively, you can now press a number on the number row, which will automatically equip the associated item. In case you don't have a mouse wheel or would like to remap it to a different key, it is possible to do so by editing Alternative Scroll Wheel actions in keybindings.ini or via console. There's been plenty of smaller changes as well such as auto-fixing a particular save game bug that kept the game from fully loading, a lack of sounds when cars pass over track joints, and quite a few more. The full change logs can be seen in the Discord, in the change log channel, as well as in the Steam announcements. Also, we've added some better butane to the lighter, so now it lights more reliably. Moving on next to the community goals. As of writing, the community has passed 31,000 points, the next community goal is at 35,000, so we're well on our way. Keep it up, guys. That's all for this video update. Drive safe, and we'll see you in the valley.